Hi, I'm Heidi Lee. I'm here at the Hub Culture Pavilion at Sportmax in New York City. I'm here with Amelie Chaban, an incredibly talented artist from France. Welcome. Thank you, Heidi. Hello. I'm very pleased to be with you today. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, you currently have a show at the Stefan Stoyanov Gallery, mm -hmm. and I would love to hear more about your work in the show and what, what it took to produce it. Um, yeah, the show is a, it's a brand new project, but it's a topic I'm working on for the past two, three years. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's articulated around the notion of identity. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's basically identification that we confuse sometimes with the word identity mm -hmm. versus uh, the psychological side of identity. So the immateriality of it and the fact mm -hmm. that there's no consensus. So there's a very strict, rigid part of it, which is full of measurements and self-portrait, and the other one which is more abstract. Yeah. And I notice you choose to communicate that message through your various materials, um, plaster and, 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 wax. and wax and mm -hmm. paper and paint. Why did you choose those materials in particular? Uh, depending on the project, it always goes from drawings to sculpture, then installation or video. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that I love to keep a certain uh, eclecticism. So mm -hmm. I really love that there's like many different languages and aesthetics and it's it's for me part of the freedom of of, of right. you know choosing a, a theme and then developing it as an artist. Someone described your work as intense and uh, vast. Oh, uh, vast is actually the title of the show at Stefan Stoyanov Gallery, and it's a, a beautiful word that Baudelaire uses a lot in his poems. And uh, a philosopher that I love, who's called, whose name is uh, Gaston Bachelard, uh, talked about the fact that vast in Baudelaire's poem mm -hmm. is really a, 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 par, a metaphor of the being, of the intensity of the being. So mm -hmm. this small atom becomes this, is a parallel to this huge landscape, you know. So mm -hmm. it's extremely intense, but immense in the same time. So that's why I choose that. Uh, and that, you, you also have a, a sculpture that ha is sort of a striated um, cross-section of the earth and mm -hmm. with an iceberg over it, yeah. sort of um, a glacier, a glacier yeah, and that yeah. sort of plays into the concept of vastness and, yeah. and is, that, is, that, is that accurate? Would you yeah, say completely. It's, uh, I'm, I'm starting to work on a project with a Brazilian artist called, uh, her name is Antonia Dialeite. She mm -hmm. does video and we do video together. Okay. And we're preparing a big video installation that we're using footage and sequences on glacier. Glacier as a metaphor of the subconscious, mm -hmm. what the ice contains and what the ice rejects. So we we working on that with that landscape right, right. now, and I wanted that to be present in in the show. It's a small extract, but it's actually a section of a glacier, a topographic with a lot of stratification. Mm -hmm. Stratification for me is a real metaphor of the subconscious to how you go deeper, deeper mm -hmm. in the inner being. Yeah. Right. That's very interesting that you have literature as an influence, architecture as an influence, art yeah. history obviously, and then you also, your work is, um, has this narrative mm -hmm. and is also symbolist. So you're working across many different Many different <laughs> many things, different levels. yeah, yeah, I'm really in the, the crossroads Dynamics. of many different references and, mm -hmm. and influence and yeah, I love that. I love this eclecticism, like I love, for example, Mike Sarenz for that because right. it was very hard to define. We surrealism. couldn't really, yeah, if he, in the same time he left the surrealism to become something else and we couldn't really put him in any boxes and I like that. Yeah. So you don't, you prefer not to classify your art as being symbolist, surrealist, no, I'm representational? Not, but all those influence me like tremendously. So I'm, I'm, I want to absorb everything, yeah. Yeah, uh, your work seem to be painstakingly laborious objects at, um, that are just incredibly beautiful, how long does it take to make one of these small objects that look like it could have taken years to do? Uh, I, I can't really define the exact time because I work on them and then I leave them on the side and I come back and you know, but it's yeah, it's a long process because it's a lot of little details. As I told you, I love little landscapes and a tiny little obsessional uh, space. And so they're very busy and that's the way like my mind, I think, find a refuge in, in them. Right. Yeah, so I need a lot of little like details. And the architecture has actually influenced me all, all the, on that too, because mm -hmm. I, I love the drawing in architecture. I love the maps and the mm -hmm. dots and the lines and the delicate, you know, it was very delicate. 
Well, I wish you the best of luck at the Stefan Stoyanov Gallery and at Usuno Gallery in Paris. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here.